Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a background with some animated clouds in Toonly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Do you want to add some pizzazz to your Toonly scenes? Today, we're going to create an animated background that has some moving clouds. So this is going to create the illusion that this plane is moving forward. So the plane itself is going to remain right where we have it. It's completely static, but the clouds move. So if we look at it from the beginning here, clouds just come in and move across the screen. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and start with a fresh video. Now, the first thing we're going to need is some reference point. Right now, I just have a blank black canvas. And I would like, for now, this is just temporarily the solid background. And that just shows me where I am. Okay. So now I'm going to add an airplane. So go to objects and let's type in airplane. Let's use this one this time. I'm going to go ahead and flip him. Now we need clouds. And I would like white ones or slightly gray ones because I'm going to use a blue background for the sky. So let's use this one. And if we wanted, we could use a couple more different shapes, but today we'll just use this one and we'll make some of them large and some of them small. And then some in the foreground and some in the background. So we'll do three. So here's my first one and it's going to be in the foreground. So it's going to come in front of the plane. And I'm just going to copy and paste by hitting Control or Command C and then Control or Command V to paste. So now I have two. And the second one we'll make a little smaller. Maybe we'll flip it so it looks a little tiny bit different. And we're going to send it behind the plane. So you click over here to background and now it's behind the plane. And I know you can't see it very well because of the white, but that's okay. And here's another one and this one we can make a little, we'll make that one the largest of all. Okay, so now we have our clouds. Now, our video, let's look at the video, it's going to be a mess. Okay, that is what it looks like. So, I personally don't like the bouncing in effect, so I'm going to go ahead and do this on all of them. I'm going to click the item, settings, in effect, instant, out effect, instant. And then for my airplane, I, this one I'm okay with it bouncing in, but let's turn the out off. So it could bounce in and then I'm going to just have it instant out, okay? So if we look at it now, that's the only thing that bounces. Next, I want to take my magnifying glass and zoom out quite a bit. Why? Because we're going to take all these clouds and we're going to move them off camera. Whoops, sorry about that. I'll move the plane back in a second. Let's make the plane just a little smaller so that doesn't keep happening. Let's stretch out the airplane and let's make this a nine second scene. And let's start with our, top, our first cloud, which is the top in the timeline, but it's in the middle here. This is going to be my first one. Now, what I want to do is select it. It's off camera. This is where I want it to ultimately end. And for whatever reason, this feels backwards to me. So this is my ending point, but yet I'm going to click over here on this keyframe and set it. Okay. And then I'm going to drag it over where I want it to start. So now if I hit the video, it's going to start there and move across the screen. So see how that moves across? Okay, let's do our second one. I'm going to do the same thing. So I have it selected. I'm going to click my little keyframe here at the very beginning and I'm going to tell it, okay, I want you actually to begin here, but you're going to end over there. So now we should have two moving. 
Okay, they're moving together. That's okay for the moment. We're gonna adjust that in a second. Let's go back to the beginning and let's adjust our third cloud. So this is where we want it to end. And where do we want it to begin? Well, let's click the beginning and move it. And it's gonna begin over here somewhere. And now let's hit play. Okay. Now you notice they all move together and that's not realistic. We want to adjust this. So we can just stagger when they come in. Let's see how this starts to look. And that's a little better. I know this is hard to visualize because of the white. So let's go ahead and take care of this background. I often use colored rectangles for my backgrounds and I could easily use this dark blue one that I have here. But you might not have that and you might not feel like dealing with that. So what you could do is you could take an object like this light blue speech bubble, put it in here and let's make it gigantic. And let's send that to the background, all the way to the back. My plane is the same color, so it's kind of getting lost. So that's a little bit of a problem. Let's drag this speech bubble all the way. Let's hit its settings. Instant and instant. Let's go back to full size. Let's see how it's looking now. Much better. I don't like the fact that it's the same color as my airplane, so why don't we just change airplanes? Let me go back to this one that I had. Now let's see what we're looking at. Very good, I like that a lot. And there you have it. We've created the illusion of the airplane traveling across the sky. We didn't touch the airplane, we only moved the clouds. Now you can use this effect in many other scenes. If you wanted you know, someone in a car driving, you could make the trees move along so it looks like he's driving along a road. Or like a train, train tracks, you can do that as well. Or you can have a superhero flying through the sky and so forth. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.